friend told me about Smith's boy. Lad went Freak. missing one day. Hey, yeah. Will you raise a glass? It's Durvan now. D E R V A N. Not Goidemar. It's raining and it's pouring and throwing and pouring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself in the morning. The blackens on you telling you. You took a bigger bollocks than the moon right there. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Footprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Plump, don't touch me. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lad went missing one day, so I found Daddy Wicked and was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking. When he started talking, so wham bam, they knocked him. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ain't talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. 
Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Kings do the fighting, but peasants do the dying. A good man's boy knows a merchant. I know what I know. Run, Roach.
favorte. Poor, dark, and putrid. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is on requisition the ship. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm-hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actin.
side. Should we draw it or not? Could make soup out of something. But told me it would not be a dog. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. Mislov just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though, so step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So he stray up too late. Attacked another one. <laughs> Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... 
Watch out for yourself now. Nothing to mourn. They were Nilf guardians. They were lads, like ours. Just clad in black plate. Good hunting now. Nilf guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. A camp. These prints are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir.